Hi, in this video, we will be discussing about moving average convergence and divergence or MACD, which is basically a momentum indicator that indicates the relationship between two moving averages. Now, it is one of the most popular technical indicators and it is used by many technical analysts all around the world. Now, it is also a trend following indicator. The default setting of this indicator is between 12 and 26 periods exponential moving average or the EMA. So the MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26 period EMA from the 12 period EMA. The 9 period EMA is referred to as the signal line. Now the formula for calculating MACD is 12 period EMA minus 26 period EMA. MACD is usually used for identifying the ongoing trend as well as the reversals. Now let us discuss as to how do this indicator gives us a buy and sell signals. We will also refer to the charts while understanding each of the concepts better. First is the zero line. So when the MACD line crosses the zero line from above, then it indicates that the trend may become bearish. And when the MACD crosses the zero line from below, then it indicates that the trend may become bullish. Next is crossovers of MACD lines. Now when the MACD line crosses the signal line from below, then it gives bullish signal. And when the MACD line crosses the signal line from above, then it gives a bearish signal. Next is the divergence. Now MACD also helps in identifying bullish and bearish reversals through divergences. Divergence can be bullish or bearish. Now when the price makes higher highs, whereas the MACD is making lower highs, then there is a bearish divergence and bearish reversal may take place. However, when the prices make lower lows and MACD is making higher lows, then there is a bullish divergence and bullish reversal may take place as shown in the chart here. Through the discussed ways, we come to know how the bullish and bearish signals comes from MACD. The MACD indicator is useful as it provides us the information of both trend and momentum in the single indicator. We usually don't use indicator for identifying overbought and oversold regions as it does not have upper and lower limits. MACD is mainly used for identifying trends and reversals. One should also confirm the signals given by the indicator with other technical tools such as price actions. Thank you for watching the video. Investment in the securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Such representations are not indicative of future results.